Turning to the latest on the scandal of Bill Cosby, mm. the comedian has addressed the recent sexual assault allegations against him during one of his shows in Canada. He joked that women, quote, have to be careful about drinking around me. Mm. And he was talking to a woman in the audience. She stood up and uh, she was getting ready to leave the room during his performance. And Cosby made the remark last night during the show. In, uh, which was the second show in a row that he has performed after the string of cancellations that followed those sexual assault allegations from more than 15 different women. So, you know, I, I'm not sure that was the right thing to do to joke about it. I mean, it, it is not, a, for many people, this is a very serious scenario, the possibility the allegations are serious, and they don't really want to be joking about it. So. Well, he hasn't said a whole lot, so no, this he hasn't. is really one of the yeah. first things we've heard from him, but that is one of the topics we're going to be discussing today. We've got Attorney John Burns here to break down more about the Bill Cosby scandal. And he also has the latest in some other legal celebrity dramas as well. John, good to see you as always. Good to see you guys too. How are you? You staying warm? I am staying warm. I drove over here, so I didn't take the Metro to, <laughs> to stay out the cold. <laughs> so Bill Cosby has done a pretty good job of remaining quiet. Should he have joked like that? I don't think so. I think Melanie brought up a good point. I think it's very, very sensitive, and that's a very sensitive topic. And I think he's done a good job of staying quiet, but you don't want to come out when you're on, you have these different shows and make statements like that because people could definitely construe those the wrong way. Making light of it. Yeah, yeah very true. Yeah, and I think yeah. it's inappropriate. And while we're talking about that, uh, uh, Felicia Rashad, his former co-star on The Cosby Show, recently came out with, uh, with her take on all the charges against Cosby. Uh, talk a little about that. Yeah, absolutely. So she came on the media, actually did a one-on-one -on -one interview with ABC, and she said that um, she feels that there's been a declaration of guilt, especially in the media, with respect to her, her on husband, I mean, on TV husband for um, you know a number of different things. She said that these allegations have been un unsubstantiated, and she said that there's just been no proof or evidence besides what we've seen in the media. And she's very, I mean, to some degree, she's right. There's been no criminal prosecution, and for a large degree, it's just been allegations in the media. Um, he ultimately faced a civil lawsuit a couple years ago, but criminally, he's never criminally he's never been prosecuted. And she also said it was about his legacy. Exactly, about obliterating his legacy. About she was Why concerned. Why would someone go after his legacy, though? I don't know. I don't know. And my, my, I'm very troubled by the sheer number of women that have come out. You have over 23 women who have come out with similar type allegations. So, I mean, at the end of the day, you have to believe that all these women could not have some concerted effort to ultimately obliterate his legacy, as uh, Felicia Rashad alludes to. Do you think Felicia Rashad in, in any way is worried about her own legacy because she is so intrinsically tied to the Cosby Show? That's a very good point. I think she could very well be. I mean, obviously, I think other people from the Cosby Show have spoken out as well. And I think because Bill Cosby and that whole Bill Cosby team of all the folks that worked on that show are intrinsically related for history. I think it is a good point that she could be concerned about her legacy as well. Um, three li civil suits uh, against Cosby, but they all took different legal approaches. Um, the latest one, I believe, is pursuing defamation. Do you think that's going to get anywhere? I don't know. It's really tough. Defamation is a very, very tough uh, suit to prove. I think some of the other ones, ultimately one settled out a few years back, and that was um, a suit that was brought, brought upon sexual allegations in terms of sexual assault and things of that sort. Those are stronger claims, but we have to remember here, so much time has passed between when these incidents allegedly occurred until the present day, so it's very difficult in terms of finding credible evidence. A lot of these um, incidents happened so very long ago, John, that what we were hearing was that, you know, the statute of limitations had passed. So is there going to be any recourse for any of these women, even if they were able to prove? Um, highly unlikely, because the statute of limitations has passed on all of these claims, and that's why, um, from a forensic standpoint, it's difficult, but just from a legal standpoint, too, it's difficult, because the law prevents them from moving forward. We're going to have to...